that specifically says you may not participate in a homosexual lifestyle, you may not publicly support a homosexual lifestyle. Um, I find that reprehensible. Teachers, parents, and parishioners upset about specific morality clauses added to the Catholic Archdiocese teacher contracts. Protesters made their feelings known today. They don't like those teacher contracts, which limit things like sex outside of marriage, homosexuality, or abortion. Nine on your side's Amy Wanis is live with the message that they're trying to send to the Archdiocese of Cincinnati. Amy. Tanya, well, teachers, parents, and parishioners within the Catholic Archdiocese of Cincinnati want next year's teacher contract changed. So they took petitions signed by around 24,000 supporters down to the Archdiocese demanding answers. Molly Shoemate has been a teacher at a Catholic elementary school in Hamilton County for 14 years. She has a gay son and refused to sign a contract that says she can't publicly support a homosexual lifestyle. I understand where they're coming from, absolutely, but for me to be that specific in what I'm saying and to um, initial next to a statement saying that I will not support my son, who in my eyes, my God made perfectly, I will not do that. The 2014-2015 contract states that a teacher cannot publicly support living together outside of marriage, sex out of wedlock, homosexual lifestyle, use of in vitro fertilization, or artificial insemination and abortion. Holly N's two kids go to nativity. I would consider pulling my kids out and that's the sad thing because I believe that they go to a wonderful school um, but I don't want to teach them that it's it's okay to mandate what people believe in their heart and the decisions that they make personally in their own private lives. If you were to violate, to sign and then violate one of these precepts, I think you would be putting yourself in danger of being fired. Now, I also spoke to a spokesperson with the Archdiocese over the phone. He says a teacher could be suspended or given a written notice, not necessarily fired if they violate this contract. He says a lot of teachers have already signed this contract. It's no different than the current one. So he says he doesn't see why there would be a problem signing next year's contract as well. Amy Wattis, Nine on Your Side, live downtown.